Hello guys and welcome to episode 31 of my Napoleon Total War campaign playing as Great Britain going for world domination victory. Today we are going to be pushing on towards Brislau with the Duke of Wellington. He's currently camped outside of there so I expect to potentially be attacked. Let's have a look at uh, what else we need to do in our list. We previously took Athens as well. Uh, we have Alexander Abercrombie here uh, with Nelson. He's going to carry them to Istanbul. Chadwick Davy, he's currently heading down towards Munich, so we'll let him continue. Going to keep Charles in Munich as part of the garrison. George Townsend can move on from Berlin, but I'm not sure how many troops I'm going to be able to get away with taking. Uh, so let's just grab like a few. I would like to take my cannons if I can. All right, we'll keep bringing out troops until we can't know any more. Ah, well, <laughs> that's kind of annoying. Can I attack Stettin with three sets of cannons, three line infantry, our leader, and the light dragoons? Uh, possibly. Possibly. I probably should sooner than later. I could probably just auto resolve it, actually. Let's just do that. There we go. That gets the job done. Perfect. We'll upgrade those roads because that's quite a long province. Definitely should upgrade the roads there. All right, well, that's sorted that out. <laughs> I thought that'd be a little bit more complex, but uh, never mind. Harry's staying where he is. We got Julian Brown heading down uh, with uh, this force. I might be forced to head up and intercept this Prussian army though, because that. Russian army's kind of bypass castle, which is where I was hoping they would attack. And Michael Stahl, he's now ready to move out of Vienna, I hope. How's public order doing here? It's uh, not doing too well. If I moved out, I think it would probably rebel. Yeah, so we'll probably just stay there anyway. Uh, we need the replenishment, so that's all well and good. Great, we'll go to fleets. Uh, we did recruit a lot of merchantmen, but I think I've moved most of them. I think I'm just going to move down here with these two. We can move them further down afterwards. Uh, these two just can choose a random one to join. Okay. Perfect. Uh, there is 9,000 left to spend if we want to spend it. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we're already upgrading the stuff there. That's a grab. We are upgrading the roads. Here at Vienna. Maybe I want to start building some more troops. Yeah, we could start building a new army, actually. I'm going to start the recruitment of uh, these foot guards. We can only have four of them, I think, in total. Yeah. And I can only have one of each of these, so we'll recruit them while we can. That's the Royal Scots Greys and the 15th Hussars. Well, these Dragoon Guards are uh, pretty good. You can only have four of them as well. Maybe I just have like an elite unit where we have like an elite army where we have all of the guards, all of the Dragoon Guards, the Hussars, the Scots Greys, the Connacht Rangers, and uh, yeah. Just all the elite troops. I mean, just like give it to the Duke of Wellington or something. Anyway, um, that's all of that done. I might just recruit some more troops over at Paris. Yeah, we'll just grab some line infantry here for now. And uh, that way I can use them for garrisons to prevent these random armies from taking any land. Okay. Spies, we've got that one going across the sea. This one's coming across toward Russia. And we have this one coming in somewhere. 
Well, he's going for walkies, that's for sure. Might be worth getting him on the ship as well. Uh, but that's everything done. Let's move on to the next turn. Uh, they would like me to surrender Innsbruck. We will let them have it. Uh, what that does is allow us to move out of the settlement nearby and just take that back, which is good. Alright, come on. Attack me, Prussia. Attack me. Uh, sure. Have Stuttgart. There we go. Perfect. This is what we wanted. A defensive battle against Prussia by Breslau. Let's jump on in. We're only being attacked by two guys. I wonder where the reinforcements are going to come in from. Probably like on our right, I would assume. Which is kind of going to be awkward for my deployment because I'm not really going to be sure where I want to place the guns. Uh, it's interesting how I start with the settlement, actually. <laughs> I'm on the settlement side. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. Well, best bet... I think is to just kind of deploy up here. Yes, sir. Sir, sir. Like so. We can have a couple units in between. A couple units on the left. We need a couple for the right. I could put my light foot maybe in the house. Don't know if that's a good idea. Keep them on the left flank. We'll have the Dragoons and Duke of Wellington behind. And these can be on the right flank. Alright, I need to work out where they're coming in from. Where is this? Yeah, it is on the right. Okay, as expected. Right, so I'm just going to keep it sped up. Uh, I reckon their reinforcements will likely just... Are they running off the battlefield again? No. Never mind. <laughs> I thought they were, like, retreating after coming on. No, this is fine. I think what I'm going to do is limber these up. I'm going to move them further to the right. Oh, they're shooting the farmhouse. Let's make sure we get out of there before I lose all my troops. If they leave their cannons by the edge of the map, I'll probably just uh, probably just go and charge them with the cavalry. But saying that, I don't know, being a bit weird. I'll just put a general attack ground order towards where the reinforcements are coming in from. Okay, great. So we managed to get into square formation in time, and, well, we've sponged that charge. And they've lost way too many men. Perfect.
I definitely want to be targeting like their calf if I can and well well since they're getting close I should probably change the cannons there We've absolutely demolished those musketeers on the left. The light infantry doing work on that left side. Please don't. Okay. Thank God for that. <laughs> I was like expecting them to hit my cannons then. That would have been annoying. Oh well. The first a lot of enemies have been dealt with. I do need to be careful not to allow them to 1v1 me on the flanks. They're just going to pull back there. We're doing well so far. Absolutely chewing up that musketeer unit. Wow. Okay. I wonder if I can get behind and kill off these cannons. There is still a line infantry unit standing by them, otherwise I'd probably send a cavalry unit over there. All the shots went to the central unit there rather than the ones in front of them. I'm going to have to uh, probably pull back this line uh, just to make sure that we don't get wrecked there. I do have this light foot that I'm not even using. Should get them to the right hand side. I think those are the ones that were in the building, um, which is why they are in that position. I'm probably going to want to charge this unit. Oh, that unit's going to get demolished. Yep, they're gone. Okay, we're getting the double team on the right, which is good. We're getting three on one here, which is fantastic, plus the cannons. Uh, we did manage to route those guys, which is great. Put these back onto fire at well. You know, as many of them as possible. It's getting carved up. I speed things up a bit. The AI has been pretty, been pretty kind in this battle. Uh, they haven't really tried to press my cannons that much. Haven't made any annoying moves. So been pretty, pretty simple. Just uh, not let them snipe the Duke of Wellington, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, one of my calf got sniped off the top there. That's amusing. Okay. I'm gonna work out a way to kill these guys. Should be in range soon with the light foot. Yeah, we're doing plenty of damage there. We can probably just run them down with the cavalry. them off. That is fine. And we do have fire at will on, so anything that gets close is going to get canistered. There is still uh, one more unit of line infantry there, and one unit of cavalry that we've got to take care of, and then I can kill off the guns, and then that's victory. Infantry reporting. Following orders. Oh, there's a Prussian Fusiliers. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll have to actually move towards them. Or not. <laughs> I'm just going to run away. Right, I'm just going to change these to round shot. We're going to try and smash these musketeers. Actually, let's just hit the lancers for now. It's going to make them coming towards us. They're actually quite spread out. Artillery reporting. Ready, Battery reporting. Okay, well, <laughs> that's them dealt with. Right, next up, the Musketeers. I've no idea why these keep moving backwards and forwards. I, I'm going to assume it's because they are the general unit. They keep moving back to like defend the cannons, but rather they just come forwards so we can finish this. We'll let my cannons just keep hitting them for the time being because they are relatively bunched up here with quite a deep rank, so any cannonball that does hit is killing. A good amount of men. Also, in the meantime, uh, any stray cannonballs are hitting the crews in front. Uh, so let's just barrage that a little bit. And we'll get to a point where I'm tempted to kind of just... Charge in from both sides. Stop them firing for a second. Well, if <laughs> they're gonna be limbered, then I guess it's fine by me. Great. That should be enough to crush them. Perfect. The most important thing to kill here is these cannons, so we're going to go get rid of those. Make sure the crews are dead for good. Perfect. The infantry I don't care about too much. I may as well just run them down at the last unit left and probably get off in time. Okay, 
Cool. All good. Victory! 380 lost. That's going to chunk them massively. Wait, they barely lost any units in Breslau. That's not good. Oh no, please allow me to get away. I think we're okay. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> that would have been bad. That's like an entire army on that merchantman. <laughs> Where's the Papa states going? I wonder who they're at war with. Oh, we're at war with them. Okay, well, that would be why. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we have a target for Merriweather now. <laughs> uh, we'll just have him come up and around. I was going to head him over here towards Istanbul, but I guess not. Alright, we'll drop off this army. Come on, guys. Get off. <laughs> Get off. Oh, that's going to take an extra turn now. There is a full army currently camping out in Istanbul. That movement's annoying, though. Alright, at least we can... Try and intercept the Russian Navy again. Alright, that sucks, because it's actually pushed them towards my merchantmen, and now they're going to have enough movement range potentially to hunt them down and kill them. We will see. Alright, enemy raid. And it's fine. Got a couple of merchantmen there. Have them join this merchant fleet. Make sure we are recruiting a few more. And these ones, well, I guess we can just head down to the sugar there. That's fine. All right. Roads are finished in Spain. We have a new spy in Saxony. Actually, that's a really nice place for one to pop out. It's really close to the front line. Cool. Carcass shot is complete. And we have general traits. Decorated hero for Michael Stahl. And uh, minus one command when, cav when leading cavalry units. That's not good. The Papal States has joined our enemies, and, well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> They're probably going to take Venice. Uh, I do need to take back Innsbruck, uh, so we'll probably do that with this army. I probably want to take back Stuttgart as well. Uh, let's just go into Strasbourg there. Need to come down with this lot. Just these annoying armies behind our lines. Uh, maybe I need to send back, like, Robert Crawford. Hmm, not sure. You're humble, sir. It's such a mess now on the map. <laughs> we've got uh, an Austrian army here. We've got Prussian army here. I do have the armies that can deal with that, but this is too big for the army at Castle to attack. So how about I bring the guys out of castle and we merge them with the guys from Munich because that's the original army right there anyway. Then we can use that army to deal with the Austrians and then the Papal State. You know, this army come down and deal with the Prussian army at Stuttgart. We are recruiting more men at Paris anyway, so that's all well and good. All right, let's see. I'm so annoyed that I can't get him onto land this turn. Alright, we'll do this battle anyway. Apparently it's going to be quite in our favour. A little bit concerned about click and auto resolve, so we'll have to play it out. If I auto resolve that, I might lose the guns, and I really don't want to do that. I don't want to lose my artillery. If I can help it, just because it does take a little while to build. I mean, it's pretty pivotal to most of my strategies. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up my guns on the left here. 
I don't know if doing this is a good idea, probably not. But I'm gonna give it a go. We have like a really nice position for the guns here. And a lot of their units are depleted, so... This will keep our units concentrated. And uh, hopefully that'll be fine. Have all the guns fire at the lancers. Take them out. Yeah, they're all they're very depleted units in their arm citizenry, so I think cannons should be fine. I've only got to shatter units individually. This is hanging in it. <laughs> oh my lord. Right. Let's just tuck in a little bit here because I want to be able to make good use of these guns. Alright, well, if they're not coming close enough, I'm just gonna round shot straight into their lances. With everything we got. Prussian Fizzlers pushing my flank. I am just going to charge them straight up. I'm not sure if they'll shoot the Dragoons or the infantry. Maybe they just won't have time to shoot at all. So they don't have time to shoot at all. <laughs> Perfect. Got crushed. That's the general killed. Let's nice, put these on to canister. Some barrage. Glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. <laughs> Damn, those units in the center just ran away instantly to the, those guns. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do this normally with all of these cannons next to each other, but <laughs> for now it seems to be working. What are they doing? Get back into position. <laughs> um, almost over already. Alright, that's more or less it. Just gotta get rid of the arm sister on the left hand side. And we'll have victory. Oh, not quite. Oh, never mind. Yes, we will. <laughs> I thought those guys were gonna come back, but uh, they just routed again straight away. We'll end the battle there for the heroic victory. Perfect.
Let us press now under our control. And it may be worth just running around and attacking this army as well. Because we're going to have this guy come this way anyway. Don't necessarily want to leave the Duke of Wellington too exposed, so maybe we do that with this guy instead. See if they let us. Nope. Alright, well, we'll stand there with him. If he gets double teamed, that's fine. And we'll keep the Duke of Wellington where he is for this turn, just to get a bit of replenishment going. Right, we're going to have to keep that army where it is. Chadwick's in a pretty precarious position. George Townsend does not have to be in Stetton anymore, so we'll probably move him out, send him back to Berlin, just to help with public order in the meantime. Michael Stahl is more or less replenished. We could send him to go and deal with the Papal State. But probably best that we take Olmitz first, because there is an Austrian army there. Let's go and do that. Siege them. And this will be a rather large battle that we're going to have to play out. So let's jump on in. So yeah, once Michael Stahl takes this, I don't think we'll have to stay here for long. We can probably just send Michael Stahl back towards Italy. We do, of course, have that army coming up past Italy on the sea, but I may just drop them off uh, toward Greece again if we send Michael Stahl back. Right, well, just got to find the right terrain. Uh, there is not very nice terrain on this map. I guess the right side's okay for a couple sets. But I might spread them out this time. Looking for the best positions. I think this is a road that we're kind of running across. Yeah, which is why the terrain's a bit dodgy. I might have to like keep them limbered and then move them forwards after the battle starts. And they have three sets of cannons themselves, so I'm going to have to make sure I pay attention to that. That's pretty much our army set up. I'm just going to have these guys in reserve. Start the battle. And we need to have our guns start firing at their cavalry. I don't really think I have that great line of sight on their cavalry. But we'll give it our best shot. Looks like they're actually pushing straight at us. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm just going to keep it sped up as we keep hitting their cavalry here. That hit some of the cav there as well. Doing a lot of damage to their infantry. There we 
I'm getting some decent kills in there. Wonder whether or not I can get a cavalry unit around the right flank. Maybe try and hit these while they're limbered. I don't know if that's actually going to work. I'd much rather just focus on their general or we something. Their general, now they must break. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> that's a uh, job done there, I guess. The general unit's still here, though, so I probably want to get rid of them. Uh, we just broke their cavalry on the right flank. Just broke their general. Okay, should start focusing on their cavalry on the left. Just uh, made them all shatter, which is perfect because if they're shattered, uh, they will never come back. Since this is a settlement battle, we don't have to chase them. I do need to find a way to isolate these cannons, though. At the moment, we're not doing a great job of that. I mean, maybe I could actually push up on this left side. I do have a unit of cannons here, or cavalry, sorry, that can push on to them. Let this one fire. I'm actually going to charge into these guys. Come on, guys, line up. And in the meantime, we'll kill the cannons on the left flank here. And these ones can move up and engage the next unit. Probably charge those as well, actually. Because their morale isn't very good, so strong charge will probably just destroy them. Yep. And I can have the Dragoons come in from behind. We can just crush this left flank. Oh, he's so sure how many of those numbers just disappeared on that charge there. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Okie dokie. Well, that's them shattered, so we no, no longer need to actually chase them down. Oh boy. Go take out the cannons on the right side there. Looks like they're kind of firing towards the calf, so we'll have to be careful where well, these guys might actually fire across into our cavalry as well. They're unlimbered in a really weird direction. Alright, that's that unit dealt with. Next one. Yeah, that offensive move on the left flank done us a lot of favours. It's kind of completely screwed them over. I 
They've left their artillery exposed. We're all over it. And now they have to push us because no cavalry left. No, no cannons, sorry. Left. All them. All the while we're just smashing them with round shot. See those shots just blast through multiple formations. And these are just armed citizenry on the flank here, so we can probably push onto those, break them down. Yeah, I'm going to move my line infantry up on this left side. Get my cav to come round to the left side of this town. Cool. Probably just a good idea to just charge them. I'm not sure if we'll get a decent charge in onto these armed citizenry with the cavalry, but I'm going to do it anyway because the cavalry will win against the armed citizenry in mana combat, I think. Right, well. Oh, it looks like we might get a quite decent charge in there. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. 20 men killed on the charge. Already broken them. Yeah, already shattered there. Fantastic. That was perfect. Let's nice, let them come towards us. I'm going to move these guys back. May as well use canister if we can. Although those melee engagements, we didn't actually lose that many men. Which has been interesting. Just get a volley into the back of those line of tree, but we're gonna have the King's German Legion foot line up soon. And these guys are pretty damn good. Never mind, they are walking away. I'm going to pull my cavalry out of the way. Oh, they're lining up again. Alright, oh, okay. I see. Alright, maybe I just want to make a play uh, on the right-hand side here with my cav and a few units of line infantry. Kind of push on them a bit. this cav back. They are not overrun while I'm not looking. I'm going to charge into the back of the Gemma Fizzleers on that side. And then as we do, I'm going to match it with a front or charge through the trees. We'll be able to do a lot of damage. I break those with the charge. Charge into the next one. It's 
Stop them firing. Charge into these guys. Great. Well, those guys should break any second, and then we can charge into the back of the armed citizenry. Great. So dealing with those flanks has uh, gone very well indeed. Uh, my cavalry did take some losses, but nothing too serious. My men forming up can shoot them as they leave, and they still have fire at will on. Yeah, just slaughter them. Good. That's going to be that unit utterly destroyed. Let's uh, clean up those German fusiliers there. And, well, you know what? We're just going to charge these last few down as well. I'm going to stop these firing. That unit should be destroyed by that charge and those two did a runner well there we go that's it a heroic victory 239 lost Olimuts is ours so hopefully I can move out of there straight away put that on to exemption from tax and yeah, I think we're going to head back down towards the Papal State, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll have this army I'll land here and go and take Belgrade. There is actually an army there we've got to deal with, Leopold Feldman. Uh, so let's just head back towards Vienna for now. Uh, Vienna is exempt from tax. They might rebel <laughs> uh, since we left that. But uh, at least we take the settlement. That's good. Rebellion would be a bit unfortunate. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Because it would be some pretty big armies, that's for sure. Anyway, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm really hoping this merchantman is out of range of the Russian fleet, because otherwise we're gonna lose an entire army very quickly indeed. But then again, if the Russians try and go up there to take them out in the Adriatic, then we can just pursue them with the uh, the navy here. And they will be cornered, so I don't think they'll end up getting away if that's the case. But I don't want to sacrifice that army if I don't have to. Alright, well, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Okay,